we see a tidal wave of small business closures. In fact, 75,000 of the businesses that are on Yelp have permanently shut down. 15,000 of those were restaurants. I also don't know how much propping up of these businesses makes sense. And it's not that I don't want to support them. I think it's really important to keep small businesses afloat. My concern is that so much is going to change about the composition of cities, where people live, where people move, and the patterns of behavior that the businesses that existed before may not exist in the future. There just might not be a market for them. I think retailers are an obvious thing because there was barely a market for them before and this was just the final straw. But I think in terms of uh, dining out, in terms of anything that, that's experiential, you know, laser tag place or something like that, I think people are going to think twice about doing some of those things. And I don't know that their market is going to come back in time for any kind of funding to last them. So I think we need to be a little bit more judicious because I think we're in a very scary place economically where our debt is now bigger than our GDP. We're getting older as a society and unless we have some sort of growth engine uh, that I'm not aware of or some innovations coming that are going to be exclusively American, we're going to have a tough time repaying it and holding rates down enough to have money available for other things. Because remember, the bigger your debt, the bigger your interest payments, and the less money you have available for other things, for other investments. I talked about R&D earlier. Well, how are you going to fund all these things if you're paying off debt? And for now, we're able to keep rates low. There's no guarantee we're going to be able to do that in the future or forever.